you, what up? Mariam here, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today I am going to be lip swatching, reviewing, trying out, testing out some new products from Huda Beauty. We have the Power Bullet Cream Glow Lipsticks, 14 of them. We also have the new Lip Contour 2.0 Lip Liners, 12 of them. I'm going to be swatching all of them on my lips. Right now I am wearing one of my favorite combos. Comment down below after you watch this video to tell me which one you think this is, just for fun. And now without further ado, let's get into this lip swatches video. Remember to subscribe if you aren't already, hit that notification bell so you can see all of my Wednesday and Sunday, Wednesday and Sunday, Wednesday and Sunday videos. And now let's get into this Huda Beauty Power Bullet Cream Glow Lipsticks and Lip Contour 2.0 review and swatches for you. So, Huda Beauty has two new lip products. We have the Huda Beauty Power Bullet Cream Glow Lipstick. So this is basically the creamy formula or the creamy version of her original matte bullet lipsticks that I absolutely love. They are some of my absolute favorite bullet lipsticks out there. The only difference here is that these are super moisturizing. They contain some hydro berry, some sea fennel, which is rich in minerals, vitamin A, C, and E that helps condition and smooth your lips. Also looks like their trademarked or patented maxi lip formulation stimulates collagen production, so that's a bonus as well. We have 14 different shades in this new product, the Cream Glow. We have the rosy tones and the spicy brown nudes. Basically all of these are nude lipsticks. They're supposed to kind of match your skin tone, look like your lips, but better type of vibe. Rich and creamy, medium buildable coverage, different skin tone families from light to medium to tan to rich, $25 each. This is kind of cool. On the packaging here, it basically tells you whether each lipstick is meant for the light, the medium, or the rich skin tone, and there's like a little arrow here. So that makes it super duper easy. Also, you can kind of tell from the plastic packaging that the rosy undertones have more of a corally rosy sort of tint to the package, whereas the brownie nude has more of a brownie nude one. So that's nice. Those are all cute little quirks that add to the overall ambiance, I guess, to the overall vibe and feel of the product. Of course, I'm gonna get to the swatches in just a second, but before I get to the swatches, we also have a new Lip Contour 2.0 lip liner pencil. So basically these are 12 universal shades and I like the fact that each of the lip liner names basically corresponds with what this color is. So a sandy beige or a pinky brown or a vivid pink. That makes a lot of sense to me. There's no like wondering what color you're gonna get with each lip liner. It's just named for its color. I love that, $19 each. All right, so now without further ado, let's get into these swatches. So I'm gonna be swatching them starting from the light, going all the way down to the deep. I'm going to be alternating between the pink nudes and the brown nudes, just so you can see both undertones on my skin tone. Right now I have nothing on my lips. I just have my lip contour tanning technique that I do that you can watch in my beauty hacks video, but that's pretty much it. So what I'm going to do first and foremost is swatch the lightest lip pencil on the back of my hand. This one is Sandy Beige. So what's cool about this pencil is that it features a twistable design. You can twist from the bottom and the lip liner will come out. That's pretty dope. There's also a little sharpener on the end to help give you that perfect tip. What else we got? It's got some plumping ingredients, soybean and licorice, it's supposed to be waterproof and transfer proof. I'm going to swatch this first shade on the lips. I am thinking that for Sandy Beige, I should probably test out Empress. So Empress is the first Power Bullet Cream Glow lipstick from the Spicy Brown or from the Bossy Brown family, that's what they call it. And it is a light beige nude, very light indeed. Let's see. Hmm. So what I'm gonna do to make this work is add just a little bit of this Sandy Beige lip liner around the perimeter of my mouth. And because this is a more buildable, medium pigment formulation, I feel like I can probably pull off this shade with this darker, slightly darker lip liner. The formula feels very creamy, very comfortable on the lips. I do see just a little bit of settling into the lip lines. Not the lines that you get around the mouth, but the actual lip lines. So there's just a little bit of settling. I can especially see that when I smile. Anyway, this is the color. 
Next up, let's go for Buttercup. So this is a pinky undertone and it's the lightest shade. Light soft pink is what they refer to it as. And for my corresponding lip liner, I am going to go for Pinky Brown. Ooh. I feel like the lip liners are extremely creamy. You could easily wear this as a standalone color all over your lips. And this shade here, pinky brown, is absolutely up my alley. It looks so good on its own. I love it, it's just so fresh. All right, Buttercup, here we go. Pretty, very, very pretty, very natural, very everyday, very just like healthy and glowing and light and effervescent, not too serious. I like the shade, I feel like I can get a lot of use out of it. All right, so let's actually stick to the pinky brown lip liner and let's go for the next pinky nude shade down the line, which is Angel. So now Angel is a light pink nude, boom. And it's another color that goes so well with pinky brown. Again, just very natural, very everyday. I quite like these pinky nude shades for my lips because my lips are naturally on the pinker side rather than on the browner or neuter side. So I think this is flattering on someone like myself. It's kind of like a pop against my skin tone because I am very yellow undertoned. It's cute. It's definitely a little bit lighter than my lips, but still my lips, but better type of vibe. Angel. Okay, next up, let's go back to the brown nudes. I'm gonna reach for Honey Beige Lip Liner. Gorgeous standalone color. Next, I'm reaching for Raja, and Raja is a light brown, more like a light brown nude, I would say, but looks like it's a perfect match to this lip liner, Honey Beige. Really pretty, flattering. I would say. I like this color a lot. These are the types of nudes that I typically gravitate towards. Just like something natural, just a hint of that tan undertone for the nude. I love it. Raja. All right, let's go for terracotta lip liner. This is what it looks like. This is what it applies like. Cat hair. Gorgeous. And the next cream glow I'm going to swatch on my lips is Hustla. Looks like a solid match with Terracotta Lip Contour 2.0. This is a medium brown with a hint of pink. I like this one, but the hint of pink is giving me a hint of purple vibes that I don't really mesh with too well, you know? I like it, but not for my skin tone. I think this is a color that would be really good on someone who's a little bit more on the neutral side. All right, shall we move on to some pinks? Let's do it. Next, we have Rusty Pink Lip Contour. Definitely more of a reddish undertone to this particular shade. That pigment though, it's undeniable. Oh yeah, not a color that I reach for a lot, but I can't say I don't like it. It's different for me. All right, so I'm gonna reach for Honey Bun, which is a medium pink with a hint of peach. This is what they look like side by side. Mm, mm. I don't know if I would pair this color with this lip liner, but let's just go for it. Wait, actually, this isn't so bad. Hmm, rusty pink plus honey bun make for a really nice peachy, almost with a hint of coral type of lip combo. I actually think this is nice. I wouldn't have thought to pair these two together, but I really like the outcome. It's kind of fresh, no? Kind of cute. Is it just me? Perhaps not? Anyway, you let me know down below which lip liner and cream glow power bullets are your favorites for you and also which ones look the best on me. I can't really tell thus far which colors I'm gravitating towards. What I like to do with these lip swatch videos is actually watch my footage back and then just like see what it looks like on camera and what image I'm gravitating towards the most. So I'll definitely leave a comment below letting you know what my favorite combos are, but I also wanna hear your thoughts. Cool, shall we do another pink? I'm down for another pink. You guys, we're almost halfway through and my lips are not even throbbing because these formulations are very, very creamy. It's really easy to remove the lipsticks. I mean, these aren't liquid lipsticks like the Jaclyn Cosmetics lip swatches that I did. Oh my God, I had to break those up in two days because my lips were literally feeling like they're gonna fall off. Not in this case. I might need to reapply some foundation though. Muted Pink Lip Contour 2.0. Looking exactly like a muted pink. Love the name. Ooh, this is very close to my lip color. Slightly cooler, of course, but I really like this one. I would wear this one with my Maybelline Baby Lips lip balm for that everyday youthful little pop. Yeah, 
Let's go for Sweet Cheeks. This is a medium pink, not a match here, clearly. I think the closest match to this lip liner would probably be Angel, which is the light pink nude, but let's watch this one anyway. Sweet Cheeks, medium pink. Actually, this is quite pretty together. So because this Sweet Cheeks is more of a neutral rather than a cool, the way that the muted pink lip contour is, together they create a really nice neutral lip combo. I quite like it. I think it's very everyday, but not in a everyday basic and boring kind of way. I think it's a very flattering everyday lip color that I think a lot of people can get away with. Basically, if you're my complexion or if you're a little bit lighter, if you're a little bit tanner, if you're in the medium, spectrum chances are your lip color is probably on the medium pinky side so this would be a good bet for you for every day I like this one I like this one a lot all right now that we've done a couple of pinks let's do some nudes let's go for the next lip contour shade that I haven't yet tried which is the warm brown warm brown is exactly that very creamy like super creamy as I'm lining my lips with these I'm trying to think of dupes for some of these colors and I just can't think of any dupes because the formulation in these is so so creamy that it's almost lipstick like you know whereas traditional lip liners are more on the pencil they're more on like the drier side so it's hard for me to think of colors that might be similar to these just because the formulas are so different but anyway next shade is moneymaker the moneymaker is a medium warm brown great match for the warm brown lip contour pencil really really pretty on me would also look great on someone who's more of a caramel complexion or very tan. This is just pretty. It's sophisticated. It's giving me feel good vibes. Money maker. I like you. Sticking to the same warm brown lip liner. I'm just going to correct the shape real quick and go for the next shade, which is gold digger. Gold digger is a medium muted brown. Definitely has a bit of a grayish undertone, so it's giving me those grungy 90s vibes for sure. This would look great with just a super smudged, smoky type of eyeliner all around your eye. I see it. A little bit of foundation to just mute my lips. Back to the pinks we go. Picking up Vivid Pink Lip Contour Lip Liner. This is indeed very, very vivid, very bright. Kind of like a corally pinky undertone. I love these types of shades on me because they just brighten up the entire complexion. They brighten up the face. They make your skin look a little bit more perfect, a little bit less flawed. For some reason, these corally shades just make the skin look more even toned. I don't know what it is. You guys remember my Pixie collab from a couple years ago? My coral bang was literally that color for me. Every time I would put it on, it would just make my complexion glow. So this is a very similar shade, I would say. Let's see how it pairs with baby face, which is a medium pink with a hint of brown mm, Clearly not a match because this just looks so pretty and you know what? I'm not gonna do it that injustice I'm actually just gonna use a different lip liner for this shade. I Say deep rose is the way to go here Ooh, Deep rose is really pretty on its own but Paired with baby face, I feel like it just takes on a whole new meeting. It's just a little bit more demure, a little bit more sophisticated. Definitely one of those colors that you can wear at night and also during the day. All right, we've got three lip liners left. We have rich brown and very berry. And I guess either one of these colors can go with the next lipstick, which is Habibi. Habibi <laughs> Every time I say the word Habibi, I think of that song. If you know the song, comment below. So Habibi is a rich pink with a hint of purple. Very berry for sure. Ooh, very berry. And Habibi. Ooh, so good. This is a winning combo. So pretty. Why don't I have anywhere to go? I wanna go somewhere and I wanna wear Habibi. Anyway, Habibi is a rich pink with a hint of purple and it pairs perfectly with the very berry lip contour. I'm gonna keep the very berry lip contour on for the next shade. I'm gonna go back and perfect it a smidge. And the final deepest shade in the rosy category is Amore. So Amore is a rich pinky brown with a hint of purple. I gotta say, I'm loving these deeper shades. The colors are just very distinct on me, as opposed to all the lighter shades that kind of all blended to look the same. But these darker shades, I feel like there's just a little bit more interest for me. I like the fact that they're semi-sheer. I love the fact that you can create this very 90s lip liner plus sheer lip color 
type of combination. So I'm really drawn to these. This one, Amore, is very, very fun, just like Habibi, but just like a more brown, more like Aaliyah-esque version, if you know what I mean, period. Man, this one's so good, I don't wanna remove it. But I gotta remove it. We've got two more lipsticks left, two lip liners, but this is the deepest one in the brown category. So rich brown is what it is. Next we have Boss Chick, lovely color. And this is a rich, warm brown. Definitely gives me those 90s lips vibes for sure. And I love it, because it's just so cool. This is a great shade, feels comfortable on the lips. I love the fact that the pigment is there, but it's sheer enough for the lip liner to shine through. I'm into it. I'm gonna keep the lip liner intact for the final shade, which is Self Made. And Self Made is a rich, deep brown. Stunning is what I'm gonna say about this final color combo. Gorgeous, this is just the kind of stuff that I like. I love these rich, deeper browns on medium skin tone or even on tan skin tone or even on light skin tone or even on deep skin tone. I love brown lip colors on just about everyone. I feel like they are so cool, they're so demure. They give me throwback vibes, but they're also extremely, extremely current. And I feel like these last four shades that I swatched were probably my favorite favorite lip combos and just shades in general from this whole entire collection. I really enjoyed applying all of them just because the formula is so comfortable, it's so easy to apply, it's so easy to remove. But color-wise, I would say that the last four, the deeper shades, were absolutely my favorite. So Habibi, Amore, Boss Chick, and self-made. And also the one that I was wearing for the intro of this video. I don't remember the color combo that it was, but I'll pop it up right here. That one. Before I go, I do have one final lip swatch for you, and it is the Universal Red Lip Contour Lip Liner. So let me quickly remove this brown. Let me actually just apply this red in the way that I would apply it if I were going somewhere. I'm gonna just take a smidge of foundation and a smidge of powder just to set that. And now for the Universal Red. Final Lip Contour 2.0 Lip Pencil. Man, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous red. Let's actually swatch it and apply it the way that Huda Beauty suggests. First by making an X at your cupid's bow, like that. Then by dragging the sides to the corners, outlining the bottom, overlining if you want. I want. And I'm actually gonna fill in my entire lip shade with this color because I think it's so, so flattering. I'm gonna take a clean little small lip brush, just perfect the edge, perfect. And voila, here is Universal Red Lip Contour 2.0 Lip Liner, worn as a lip color all over my lips. Hmm, let's test if this is indeed transfer proof. I'm grabbing a napkin, pressing it through my lips. And you guys, that's pretty good. That's pretty, pretty good. This feels very, very comfortable. And as you can see, it's barely transferred at all. There's just a hint of color, but I would say this is definitely pretty mask friendly. Hmm, and the color is just so stunning. Of course, you can wear this one alone or with any of Huda's Power Bullet matte lipsticks, any of the red ones, or you can add one of these pink lipsticks just on top or on the center of the lip for just a little bit of a pop or a little bit of a glow. I'm actually gonna go for a little bit of Angel, which is the second lightest light pink nude and just add that to the center of my lips for just a bit of a pop, just a little bit of an ombre action. And there you have it guys, the final last lip combo. I gotta say, I'm giving myself a pat on the back for swatching all of these 14 lipsticks plus 12 lip liners on my lips for putting together all these different combos and for doing it all in one sitting. That's kind of unheard of for me. Usually when I do these lip swatches, I either break it down into two days of filming or I take some breaks in between, but never do I actually film it all the way straight through. So that tells you that the formulations of these lip pencils, as well as the Power Bullet Cream Glows are very, very flexible, very easy on the lips. They're very hydrating and moisturizing, which makes it really easy to apply and really easy to remove. So I gotta give it up for Huda Beauty and team for nailing the formulations. These are so beautiful and so lovely and exactly what I would reach for. Ultimately, I did mention that the deeper shades of the Cream Glow lipsticks were a little bit more to my liking just because they felt very distinct in terms of color against my skin tone, so I like that. The lighter shades, I would say, are definitely more for an everyday vibe, but given the fact that we are still wearing masks and these aren't necessarily transfer-proof, isn't something that I would necessarily reach for. However, these lip contour pencils, woof, these are bomb, you guys. These are amazing. They remind me of the Persona Cosmetics lip liners that I have been raving about. You've heard me talk about them in my Faves X Fails videos, also in just like my favorite 
product for 2021 so far video. And so I think these Lip Contour 2.0 lip pencils are definitely contenders. As you saw, the red shade that I transfer tested was totally transfer proof. So that is something that is mask friendly and that is something that I'm going to continue reaching for. As well as all these other colors. I gotta give it up for them. This is a great collection and I like it. And I have a feeling that a lot of you guys will also like it a lot. So with that said, I'm going to wrap up this very long lip swatches video. Let me know once again, which of the lip combos were your favorite? What are some of the colors that you're looking for for yourself? And also which ones look the best on me? Let me know. All right, you guys, I am zooming on out so that you could check out my other couple of videos and uh, I will see you in the next one. Love you. Mwah. Peace out.